has claimed that he lent the campaign $700,000 two years after reporting income of just $55,000, suggesting possible improper funneling of money from donors to the campaign. The most serious type of campaign finance violation because you don't know who's actually behind the money. Can you answer the campaign finance concerns? Personal space, please. A little personal space. Late this afternoon, CBS News tried to ask Santos again about the complaint. He again refused comment. We've also reached out to the congressman's lawyer and are waiting to hear back. Now, to be sure, the FEC can issue fines, but does not have the power to remove a lawmaker from office who violates campaign finance laws. Live in the newsroom, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you.